Hello friends, my name is Vasim and I welcome you all to this channel Bank Video. So friends, in this video I will be discussing the questions which are based on conditional coding and decoding. These are the very important questions that you need to uh, go through because uh, this is one of the important topics for pre as well as mains examination. So I thought to discuss these questions with you. So friends, once you come across the question, try to solve the questions for yourself and continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So here, the firstly, basic information is given so that uh, we can understand how to solve the questions. So the directions are given. Let us study the directions first. Okay. In each, in each of the questions given below, a group of digits or letters is given followed by four combination of symbols numbered A, B, C and D. So see here, the questions which are given there, out of those questions, see whatever, I mean, in the questions, a group of digits or letter is given to us, okay? A group of digits or letter will be given to us. So based on that, there will be four combination of symbols will be given, so called A, B, C and D. So you have to find out which of the four combinations correctly represent the group of digits or letters based on the symbols, symbol codes and the conditions given below. So, according to the conditions which are given here, so which of the options should be following that we need to find out here. If none of the four combinations represent the group of digits correctly, give E, that is none of these as the answer. So, if no, no options is correct with regard to the questions based on the conditions here, so we need to answer what? We need to option E as the answer. Okay. So, firstly, so the digits are given here, that is W, U, 2, o, o, 0, this is 0, okay. This is not O. So, something which is vertically, uh, you know, uh, a lengthy one. So, it is uh, 0. If it is, uh, you know, like circle, that will be called as O here. Okay. So, that's the basic thing. So, W will be coded with this sign. U will be coded with this sign. 2 will be mu. O will be infinity. J will be not equal to. M will be copyright 7 at the rate. So, D will be coded as hash. Then, uh, L will be coded as dollar and so on okay so conditions for the for coding the group elements so the conditions are given to code here okay as you can see the first information is if the first letter is a consonant if the first letter is a consonant and the last digit is a perfect square then both are to be coded as cap okay so see here let me put it here if the first one is a consonant let me put it in this way if the first one is a consonant and the last one is a perfect square and the last digit is a perfect square and the last one is a perfect square in that case the action has to be taken as so i mean the action let me put it as the action here so the action would be what here so both has to be coded as cap that means both is the consonant and the square will be coded as cap here okay so first and last will be coded as cap here all right so this is the first thing all right Let's again let's look into the second condition. If the first digit is an odd number and the last letter is a consonant. So if the first one is an odd number, okay, and if the last letter is a consonant, if the last letter is a consonant, so in that case, what we have to do, we have to both then both are to be coded as the code for the last element. Then in that case, we need to put the code for these two as the code for this, okay. The code for this has to be placed for this as well as this. So, therefore, so last one's code, that is last element code has to be to be placed for first and last. Okay, for first and last. So, that's the thing. The third one is, if the first letter is a vowel, if the first one is a vowel, okay, if the first one is a vowel, and the last element is a number and the last element is a number then in that case then the code of first and last element to be interchanged so in that case what we need to do interchange the code for the first and last okay interchange the code for first and last all right that's the concept see the if the first one and the last one is you no know, placed here i mean if the first one is a vowel and the last one is a number then in that case, we need to interchange the first and the last. That means the code for this has to be placed for this and the code for this has to be placed for this. That's the case. Right? That's not a very big deal. And whatever the things come in between all these, in all these cases, so the same code has to be placed as it is. Alright? The last one is if the first digit 
and the last digit are even number. If the first digit is a even number and last digit is also a even number, then the obtained code will be reversed. That means so the code will be reversed code. Okay, the reversed code has to be placed. That means so whatever the code comes in this way, that has to be placed from the last. The first one will be coming at the last. The second one will be coming second from the last and so on. Right. So that's the thing. So let's try to deal with the question, friends. As you can see, the first question here is D nine U P S four. So, firstly, what we have to do here is, according to the pre uh, conditions which we have discussed, only we need to look into the first uh, digit or the first, uh, you know, uh, the letter and the last letter of the digit. Okay, that we need to do. Okay, so the first one is a consonant here. All right, the first one is a consonant. So, consonant is this case. The first, this, this case, right? All right. So, this is the first case. So, and the last one is a perfect square. Of course, it's a perfect square. So the first one is a consonant and the last one is a square here. In that case, what we have to do? We have to code as cap here. All right. So the code for the first and the last element has to be placed as cap here. All right. So the first and the last element has to be placed as cap here. Then nine UPS. So nine UPS should be. So see here, nine is here. Nine again cap. U is uh, uh, pound. Uh, P is uh, and okay. Yes is what here? Yes is plus. Okay, let me put it here. So it's cap again. U is uh, pound. All right. U is pound. Then P is P is uh, and here. Okay. And yes is what here? So yes is plus here. All right. So this is the code. All right. So cap cap pound and uh, plus and cap again. So therefore, I can certainly say that C. Uh, this is this cannot be answer. See, cap is cap cap here, then pound, then and, then plus and cap again. So therefore, answer has to be option D here. So the second one here is nine W O J X seven. So nine is a number. So nine is a odd number. Of course, nine is a odd number. Uh, but then uh, see here, uh, the last one is seven here. Seven is also a odd number. So first one is a odd number. Uh, the last one odd number odd number is not here so therefore no condition will be applied here i repeat see the first one is odd number the last one is seven that is also an odd number or a prime number so the first one is odd number this condition may apply but then the last one has to be consonant but then the last one is not a consonant so therefore this condition would also not be applied here okay so therefore no condition will be applied will be applied uh, because uh, no condition will be satisfied here so that is why In that case, what we have to do? We have to put the same code as it is. Okay, nine W O J X seven. Okay, nine W O J X seven. So for nine, the code is cap. For W, it is uh, this. Okay, uh, for zero, it is uh, infinity. For J, it is not equal to. For X, it is star. And for seven. It is at the rest. Okay, so this will be the final code. So cap and at the rest is here. So therefore, I can set. Sorry, I can not come to a conclusion now. Also, right? Cap uh, this sign R. Yeah, option B is the answer. Cap R infinity not equal to star at the rest. So therefore, option C B has to be the answer here. Right? Let's check out the third one here. U four seven L J O. So The first one is a vowel here. Okay, this is not a consonant. U is a vowel. Okay, so the first one is a vowel. So see, ah, uh, the third one may apply. The last one has to be number. Of course, the 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 last one is not O here. It is zero here. So therefore, the last one is number. Then in that case, what we are going to do? We are going to interchange the codes for the first and the last one here. Right. So let me put it here. Let me put the code here again. Right. So U, then ah, uh, forty-seven. Forty-seven, L, J, and zero. So in this case, what we have to do? We have to change the code of the first and the last. For code for zero, the code is infinity. So infinity code has to be placed for the first element, and the code for U is uh, pound that has to be placed for the last. Okay, and the, for the remaining elements, the same code has to be placed. For four, it is percentage. For seven, it is at the rate. For L, uh, L is dollar. And for J, it is not equal to. So this will be the code. So let me check it out. So 
and sorry infinity percentage infinity and percentage is here right infinity percentage at the rate dollar infinity percentage this will not be applied because infinity is here percentage here, it is not at the rate infinity percentage at the rate so therefore option c can be the answer infinity percentage at the rate so dollar not equal to pound so therefore option c has to be the answer here i hope you understood let's check out the rest of the questions here so 4m d 0 w 2 so 4 is a even number 2 is also a even number so the last condition will be applied so even number even number in that case what we are going to do we are going to put the reverse code here so 4m d o sorry d 0 w 2 4m d 0 w 2 4m d 0 w 2 okay 4 m d 0 w 2 okay in this case what you have to do we have to put the reverse code here okay reverse code in sense we have to code from here for uh, i mean we have to start from here and we have to put it in this way okay for 2 the code is mu put mu here for w the code is this okay uh, for 0 the code is infinity okay for d the code is uh, hash for m the code is copyright okay for 4 the code is uh, percentage okay so mu r uh, infinity hash uh, copyright percentage so let us let us check it out the answers here so mu uh, okay r mu r is here i can certainly say that option d has to be the answer here mu uh, r then infinity hash infinity hash corporate percentage infinity hash corporate percentage so here's the last question of the day 7 pu 49 m okay so first is a uh, you know odd number the last one is a consonant so second condition will be applied odd number consonant in that case what we have to do we have to put the last element code i mean last element code has to be placed for the first and the last element so therefore the code of m has to be placed for this element as well as for this element okay 7 pu 49 m okay 7 pu 49 m so the code of last has to be placed for the first and the last element so the code of last has to be copyright that has to be placed for the first and the last element that means copyright copyright has to be placed for the first and last element because the code for m is copyright here then for p uh, we, uh, i mean uh, for p it is and for u it is pound for 4 it is percentage for 9 it is cap okay copyright and uh, pound percentage cap copyright copyright and pound copyright and pound uh, the last one has to be the copyright copyright and pound percentage cap copyright so therefore option E has to be the answer here I hope you understood so these are the five important questions which I wanted to discuss with you I hope you enjoyed watching this session friends thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead before ending up this session I request you to subscribe to our channel like the video share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts please let us know in the comments below Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.